Hi, I'm Joshua Powell and I'm a conservation biologist. We bring you this direct from the Arctic with WWF's WWF Voices. We're in Franz Josef Land, which is one of the best places in Russia and arguably the world for seeing polar bears. And one of the questions that came in is how many polar bears are there in the world? Well, the truthful answer to this is that scientists don't actually know. Estimates range anywhere from 20 to 30,000, though it's suspected that it's maybe on the lower end of that scale, perhaps somewhere in 22,000 to 25,000. But we don't actually have an accurate count because they're an incredibly difficult species to study. And they're occurring in relatively low numbers over large areas and they inhabit one of the most inhospitable places in the world, making them incredibly difficult for scientists to study. They also move around a tremendous amount and WWF's polar bear tracker actually tracked one polar bear that swam all the way from Svalbard to Franz Josef Land, the distance of the journey that we've made while coming up here. Now, this is a phenomenal distance and it shows that polar bears do move around a lot um, and you can actually divide the overall polar bear population into a series of subunits, areas in which a polar bear is likely to potentially travel during its lifetime. This allows you to break up the population, work out how many polar bears you've got in each given subunit, and it gives you an estimate for the overall total population. One of the things that's so difficult to tell is that in areas which see more polar bears, so polar bears coming into local communities, it's hard to tell whether that's because there are more polar bears or because they're attracted to um, food or waste produced by human communities, all of which are a potential food source for polar bears. So the accurate answer is that we don't actually know how many polar bears we've got. What we do know is that this is one of the most important sites for them. The majority of the population is in Canada, but there are also polar bears across the European Arctic in terms of Svalbard, Franz Josef Land and out on Wrangell Island. And of course they're a hugely enigmatic, important species for the environment. They're an apex predator. And although they're classed as a marine mammal because they spend so much time in the water, when they come up on land, they become the world's largest terrestrial carnival. And that's an important thing and something that truly makes polar bears worth saving. And you can find out lots more about what WWF are doing to help protect polar bears on their website. And by using WWF's polar bear tracker, just type it into Google or any other search engine and you'll be able to track polar bears in the Svalbard region. And this movement of polar bears across the region is one of the reasons that WWF are campaigning for a series of marine protected areas across the Arctic region. It's no good protecting just one given area if the species there are then going to move on to different areas because then they might be at threat in those other areas that aren't protected which they're moving to. So Franz Josef Land was added uh, to the Russian Arctic National Park um, relatively recently in 2016 but WWF would now like to see more marine protected areas. This is currently the largest marine reserve in the whole of the Arctic region. In fact it's the largest protected area in the whole of Russia but wouldn't it be great if there were protected areas across the Arctic region all connected in a network? Again you can find out lots more about what WWF are doing and about some of the science going on here in the Arctic on their website.